I'm not begging anybody to go, but you must not. I agree. What you people cannot do in Odisha, what you cannot do in Abba or anywhere. If you do what I want, Lagos will continue to be prosperous for you. If you go against this, you will perish in the water. Finish. I repeat them again. Any you go where they born very well. Where they born here? Yeah, yeah, they here. Where they born here? Make it comfortable. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Okay guys, without wasting much of time, I just want us to go straight down to this video. See, wonder shall never end. I believe many of you might have seen this video concerning the Oba of Lagos where he threatened the Igbos that he's going to buy the Igbos. Guys, I have my reason of doing this video because recently we saw a video went viral concerning this our Igbo sister that said she's going to buy a lot of Yorubas and a lot of Benin's in Canada. So that video went viral to the extent ABK Dabri got to come outside and tweet about that video and said she would call for the arrest of that lady that lives in Canada. To the extent she even called the Canada Prime Minister, the authorities in Canada to do something about that lady in Canada. Guys, let me just show you guys something because he who comes to equity must come with clean hand. For real. He who comes to equity must come with clean hand. But what is going on right here is, is strange. Guys, let me play you guys a video. I believe many of you have seen this video. Some of you might have seen it. Some of you haven't seen it. Guys, let me just show you guys this video. See what happened. Then I will come back and read. Because Nigeria government, not just Nigeria government, some of these Yoruba elites, why is it that whenever their people do something, they don't go for their people? But when the Igbos do something, you see, they will just take it and start hitting on the Igbos. You know, it's so crazy. Let me play you guys this video of Oba of Lagos and M. Suoluomo. What have they done to this Oba of Lagos? After the Oba of Lagos give this speech, what did the authority do to him? After M. Suoluomo gave out this speech, what did the authority do to M. Suoluomo? Bro, nothing. Watch this video, they will come back. Then I will read for you guys. Watch. One of you, I swear in the name of God Almighty Allah, goes against my will that I'm for the Nisha Allah will be the next governor of Lagos State. The best thing is going to die inside this world. I'm not ready to bet a bit to anybody. Else. And that's why I charge you and the governor says, I said, that is the whole. Even the two of them, they cannot disobey me. But nobody knew how I pick up on it. Jimmy is my blood relation. And I told him in the pain language, he can never be governor in Lagos for now. He God belongs to God. I'm not begging anybody to go, but you must not. I agree to what you people cannot do in Odisha. What you cannot do in Abba or anywhere. If you do what I want, Lagos will continue to be prosperous for you. If you go against this, you will perish in the water. Finish. You heard what Amar said. He said, if they do what, what he need, Lagos will be peaceful for them. But if they refused, Lagos will not be peaceful for them. They will throw them inside the way water. That is what the Oba of Lagos, that's what he said concerning the Igbos. That video was recorded 2010. That video that you guys just heard was recorded 2010. And nobody, I repeat, nobody arrested this man for threatening the Igbos. For threatening the Igbos. Nobody did anything about it. Till today, that man is still there. I'm trying to bring out a point. Now, let's go to M. Suoluomo. M. Suoluomo video, he did it last year. Last year, 2023 presidential election, when the Igbos were about to vote, hear what M. Suoluomo said. You heard. 
any Igbo where they're born very well. Make it come here, make it come vote. Like, look at the threats. They've been threatening this. See, guys, this lady that says she wants to buy Yorubas and Edo's, she must be arrested. Yeah, the authority must do the needful. They must get her arrested. That's what that. But he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Yes, but have these people coming with clean hands? No. No. What are they doing? They are going after the egos. Whenever the egos say something, they will go after them. But when the Eurobars say something like this, bro. Okay, what was this? Uh, Legospedia. Legospedia came out to write hashtag Igbo must leave Lagos. Till today, we don't even know who is this person. Legospedia. They didn't bring out a special to tell us, oh, they have apprehended this guy who said Igbo must leave Lagos. Till today, as we speak, Legospedia is still out there doing his things. But this lady that came out to say she wants to buy Yorubas and Benins. See, quick, quick. Abike Dabri and Co. They went for her. They searched her out and called for the authorities to apprehend her for what she said. Yes, what she said is harsh and is evil. What she said, she must be arrested for it. She must be arrested for it. But I keep saying this. You are saying that you guys want to arrest this lady. What about Nigeria? The Yorubas that are attacking the Igbos in Nigeria. And Suolu Omo is still there. What are you guys doing about that? Nothing. Look at Bayo Anunuga. Let me read what Bayo Anunuga said. I read. Bayo Anunuga said, Listen up. The same Bayo Anunuga that Bola Amen Tiftinibu appoints as his minister. Hear what Bayo Anunuga said. He said, I owe no one apology for ethnic slur against Igbos. They are tried to Yorubas Bayo Anunuga. You heard? He holds nobody apology. He holds nobody apology about the slur against Igbos. You heard? So, now, my question is, what have they done to this man now? What has the authority done to Bayo Anonuga? Did they arrest Bayo Anonuga? That is my question. No, because... They are the ones ruling. They are on power. That's why Baya Anunuga can see whatever he wants to say. Abike Dabri did not come outside to tweet about Baya Anunuga. But she was rushed to tweet about that lady. Yes, that lady must be arrested. She must be arrested. She did a video and I will come back for that. I will, you know, have my time to talk to her. But in this video, I'm just trying to call out Nigeria government. Nigeria, you know, some of these Yoruba's elites. He who comes to equity must come with clean hand. Yes. You will not tell me we are one Nigeria, but you are not acting like one Nigeria. Like what is going on here now? Like what is going on here now? This tweet that you guys are saying, Bayo Anonuga's tweet is 2023, March 19. Bayo Anonuga's tweet. Let me read this one again. The same 2023, May 18. Hear what this guy said. His name is Kainde Adesoga. Adekusube is his name. Hear what this one said. I read. He said, Let's buy all the egos. Let's flush them out of Yoruba land. I hate these people with passion. They are violent people. They are worst. They hate us. Let's hate them without holding back. You heard? This one too. This one too. So, here again. Okay, you guys know this one now. This one that was tormenting the Igbos in UK. Thank God. The UK government got to arrest this man. This guy tormented Mars Nadikano. 
this guy that you guys are seeing here, he tormented Mazin Madikano. Last, last, they arrested him. They put him in prison. That's what they need to do to that same girl that said she want to buy Eurobas and Benin people. They need to lock her up and put her in prison. This guy have British passport, according to what we heard at that time. Anyways, I'm coming for that lady. This is what happened to this guy. They said, UK J Nigeria four years for inciting violence against Igbos. You heard? This guy tormented the Igbos. In short, he was in UK. From UK, inciting violence, sending people that lives in Nigeria to be attacking the Igbos. This guy is one of the people who put this hatred in some of these Yorubas that make them to hate the Igbos today. This guy is one of them that puts that hatred in some of these Yorubas that today they now hate the Igbos. Thank God they arrested him is in prison now in UK. But my question is those people those Eurobars like Legospedia, Bayanomuga, M. Soluomo, this guy that I just read, uh, what was his name? Kainde, and the uh, Oba of Lagos. What has Nigeria authority done about these people? Is my question. What have they done about these people? You cannot say you want to arrest somebody that lives in Canada, but you have the same people in Nigeria. You are not doing anything about them. Our police is not doing anything about these people. Yes, I repeat, what that lady said is extremely wrong. That is evil. That is wickedness. That is wickedness. She went too far. She went too far. But what the Yorubas are doing to these people in Nigeria? What has the government done about it? Have they apprehended? No. And so Luomo is still hard there doing his things. Burning the Igbo's property in Lagos, destroyed their building. Oba of Lagos, every time, keep threatening the Igbos. They threaten the Igbos. One time, there were fights in is Saudi Arabia. Abike Dabiri got to abandon the Igbos in Saudi Arabia. Where they were fighting, Abike Dabiri got to abandon the Igbos there. And, you know, take the few Yorubas and the few Aunsa away from where they were fighting. This same Abi Kedabiri, she abandoned the Igbos. Flights that came all the way from Nigeria to pick, no, is it boss or flight? Yeah, flight that came all the way from Nigeria to pick Nigerians away from Saudi Arabia. At that time, where they were fighting, you know, there was this conflict there. Abi Kedabiri got to abandon the Igbos. She got to abandon these people. But the same you came out. If any other person is saying it, yes, I understand. Not you. Not you, Abike Dabiri. Not you. Not you, Abike Dabiri. Not you. I'm telling them to go and arrest her. Let the authority, let the people that live in Canada that have seen this video, let them go and do that yourself. Not you. He who come to equity must come with clean hands. But you guys, your hands are not clean. But you want to go and catch somebody outside the country what a shame nigerians you guys just need to fix your country fix this thing that is not right to your country ethnic problem we have it real in nigeria we have it real in nigeria the way some Yorubas are treated the Igbos is bad like it's bad that's our hand is we are coming please please don't get my word wrong this lady that said she will poison Yorubas and Beninese she must be arrested. She must be arrested. Nigeria government, 
they were quick to send a message to Canada government. Hey, we have somebody that wants to buy our people in your country. Guys, I will hand it to the comment please. Please to share this video. As you all do so, God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye-bye.